Good morning, everybody. We have snow on the ground, which is kind of put a dampener on my plans for today. Still a little bit dark. We've got the floodlights still going. I'm hoping this will clear up. I mean, the weather is showing sun all day up until 5 p.m. It's going to start getting dark around that time anyway, 5 p.m. So, um, what I was planning to do, guys, I had a little thought. And yes, see, my brain does work sometimes. Not all the time, as my wife will probably tell you. But our grass field here needs ploughing up anyway, which I was going to do and lime it but i know it's not a huge area but i was thinking what about if we put some soybeans in there because they do take a fair amount of time i think it's either six or seven months isn't it for soybeans i think and i'm thinking if we did that and again i know we're not going to get a huge amount off of there but we do have quite a bit in storage we'll add it to that and according to this which is only a rough estimate, July is going to be the best time to sell. So a little bit of forward thinking and planning there on my behalf, because I think our grass field here is, I think it's going to be big enough for now. And we still obviously have these fields, because it, when the potatoes are done, I think we're going to get quite a lot of potatoes off of those, uh, off of this area. We can then put that back to grass, so that makes that a big field like that. And if it is looking a little bit bleak, then we can turn some of these into grass as well, if need be. But that was what I was thinking. So, I mean, yeah, if we're getting like 12 bells off of there, which is not even proper grass, is it? What are we going to get off of there? So, you know there we go that's my thinking now a couple of things else to tell you i couldn't get the bell loader trailer to work at all i reset it back to the shop come back over didn't work i quit out of the game loader back in it did not work now i don't think a couple of people have said about a mod conflict i thought about that myself but i'm pretty sure i don't think i've added any new mods since I last used that trailer but I have done on some updates so I really don't know but anyway I lost my patience with it and I sold it <laughs> and we got another one and we've got this the Herculano and what I like about this oh there's a post there that is a rigid um yeah drawbar so it's not a swivel axle which is good so it is actually this guy i will show you i did download a couple more because i didn't have any downloaded this is a guy we did have which is part of our good friend yoss's liftable bells pack and yeah i don't know why it's just gone like that i downloaded this one this is pretty cheap it's a bit of a beast but again, that's a swivel. Um, I've gone past that one. I it's there. This Herculano, it's 19 grand. In fact, it's 20 if you want the auto load. But there's a couple of configurations in there. But anyway, it's not a mod review. That is what we have. So there we go. Picked all the bells up, and me being an idiot, I completely forgot to turn on the production overnight. So it's done nothing. <laughs> So we will activate that now, um, like so. But what I will do, I think, is I am going to skip forward time off camera. If it clears up, I'll bring you back in. If not, we're probably going to be into January, which is a little bit annoying because I wanted to get that field ploughed up and the soybeans in. So hopefully I will see you later on today. But um, we'll just see what happens. That should be going. Look at that already. 8,000 litres of TMR already. I'm on times five. Man, that is insane. Right. See you soon. Right. 
Yo, 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 we are back. So it did clear up. Look at it, it's melted away. Which is all well and good. So we're gonna get the new Holland going on that field. I've swapped over the tires because they were still on the narrows. But look at this, guys, this is mental. Look how much TMR we've got. 202,000 in seven liters we've run out of silage that that's crazy hmm <laughs> that is insane that goes very quick doesn't it i will <laughs> well i don't know what to make of all that It's still in the same game day. It's literally just a few hours gone. What was it about nine, nine thirty? Wow, that is mad. Right, we will. Um, you can just about make out where the actual field is. I don't think I'm gonna. Well, I don't know. We maybe could push out a little bit here, but it goes a bit steep up there. We might be able to just squeeze out a little bit more there, but oh, not that way. Um, let me just check and make sure I'm not on create fields because that would, yeah, I didn't think it would be. So if we drop that down, it should pick up where, there we go. Ah, oh, we're going to have stones, aren't we? Oh man, I completely forgot about that. How annoying. Something else we'll have to lease. But, getting back to that TMR, I can't believe that. So I think we will be very, very close now to getting cows. We're not going to be able to afford a huge amount. And I think I would rather go for the adult ones. Just because they're going to reproduce quicker. And, you know, that's going to benefit us, really, I think, in the long run. But we'll see. But we'll get this ploughed up. I don't know. I'm going to have to lease a stone picker now, aren't I? How I oh, let's have a quick look at the used equipment. Wow, look at that. <laughs> that's well out of our price range. Oh, look, the Viking fast bell is there that's fine we don't need that is that it just two things perhaps all the good ones went this morning we were too late they've been snapped up but at least the snow did clear up so we can actually do some work um, yeah, some of these I could probably make that a little bit better. See, I'm not a fan of this corner here, but that is how it is. But I think we could just cut through there a little bit better in a minute. I probably will do that. Just to get the maximum out of this area. That's not too bad there. I'm just a little bit worried about the harvester header going up too many sort of slopes. This bit here is quite bad, but we could push it out a little bit, roughly where the um, subsoiler ends there now. I think we'll get away with that. It all helps, it all will add up.
Okay, right, just a couple of little bits there, and then I think we'll look at pushing the boundary out a little bit without obviously causing ourselves any future issues. Then we're going to need to get a stone picker, needs liming as well. I might whiz over with the lime first actually. Right, so shall we start? Let's start about here. We got a silly little track leading in. We don't need that. We can just come straight in, can't we, off of there? So if we were to I don't know, say from this point maybe we'll go there for a second so allow create fields I think that should have done it there we go let's we'll see if we can get rid of that bush as well awesome I'll leave a little bit of grass on the edge but we can get rid of that bit there I think we'll just come round and marry up with that that's good I'm happy with that this is all close enough for me um, yeah we're not too worried about that certainly those two little curves down there we can sort those out I think so we we'll drop that down now Do something like that, that's looking good. I'm going to stay here just to grab a little bit more. Oh, yeah, look at all this we can get. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm going to try and aim down for that little corner bit like so. Now is there anything this side I... Hmm. It's, a bit, it's a bit of an iffy one there isn't it? There's a little bit of a slope there. We might get away with it. Um, I think we'll give it a go. Um, probably should go off the back here. Um, maybe something like that. That's alright, that's good. Just a little bit extra. Yeah, that's good, that's good. I'm happy with that. We'll try and meet up with that corner. Good. Um, there, I'm not too worried because, like I say, it does start to. Oh, I don't know. We probably. Yeah, I did say earlier, didn't I? We could probably squeeze out a little bit more. So we will go there and we'll come out about there, I think. I know it's not a huge amount, but, you know, needs must and all that. And I think it does go a little bit flatter here, so I'm going to push out more. Come on, tractor, you could do it. And we'll go right out like that. That's beautiful. Can we get rid of that bush? That would be handy. Yes, thank you very much, and we'll meet up with that. Oh yeah, now that is a little bit better, isn't it? It's not a bad size field, you know, so I'm happy with that. Pretty good. Right, we'll go and grab some lime. We should still have absolutely loads in that spreader. In fact, we'll probably, what I could do just for quickness, 
Um, just out of interest, did I turn that off? No, I didn't. Need to turn that off, otherwise we'll start getting charged for that. So, um, let's turn that tractor off. We'll swap over to this guy. The lime... Oh, yeah, we put that down in this shed, didn't I? That is our kind of a spreading... Um, this could be another casualty of the farm. I'm not a big fan of liquid fertilizer anyway, and like I said, I was just using this because it's on the farm, but it is more expensive than solid fertilizer. And if we get cows going, um, we could look to maybe getting manure. In fact, I probably am going to get rid of that now. Ooh, hope it doesn't mess anything up. There we go. That gives us a little bit more room coming in and off the ramp there, wouldn't it? Wow, 104 grand. Right, which side is this? Not that one, it's this door. So that will do us. Let's grab that. And then we're going to need to lease a stone picker. I did think about going for a smaller one because it's not a huge field, but... Oh, I hate doing stones anyway. Um, I'm kind of regretting putting them on <laughs> this playthrough, but there we go. I think I'm just going to carry on going for this guy. It's a lot wider. Get the done, uh, done. Get the job done quicker. So yeah, it's a bit pricey, isn't it? I'm not going to make that back on the stones, but we'll at least that, and then I can go and pick that up and do the stones also going to need a cedar um, yes I kind of wish that I ploughed this up a lot earlier when we were doing all the ploughing and liming and had the stone picker it should have been done then really, but I kind of thought, why not get another cut off of that and then see what happens. But, um, never mind. Right, it shouldn't take too long. And then I'll go and grab that stone picker. Off camera, I'll do that and grab you back in. And I may look to see what cedars they've got there as well. But obviously I'm not going to be able to bring all that back in one go. I may bring both of them back off camera so that they're here at the farm ready to go. I may even turn the time down to real time because it's starting to get a little bit dark already. In places, isn't it? I know we're in winter, but it's getting dark. Roll on the spring <laughs> when we can see what we're doing. I'm not too worried about wasting some of this lime because this spreader just doesn't use hardly any. I mean, mm, dare I say it, shall we go for some cows this episode? We might as well get the ball rolling, wouldn't we? Because then the pigs aren't going to be too far off. They're probably just going to be bought and sold for profit, the pigs, I think. I may go for the baby ones with the pigs and just let them fatten up we'll see or first of all may buy some adult ones let them reproduce sell the adult ones let the piglets grow up reproduce you know cycle like that but we'll see right so just that little bit back there 
Should get all this in one hit. There we go. So yeah, I will go and grab Stone Picker and Cedar. And I'll see you back over here, people. Oh, there's a um, gate there. I was too busy looking. I thought the doors were open on the cow barn, but they are permanently open. That's where they come in and out. Oh, dear. <laughs> see you in a minute. Okay, right. I've got both things back at the farm. Um, I'm probably going to have to swap over tractors though for the cedar because I ended up going with this guy, the horse Pronto. It will seed and fertilize 270 horsepower. This tractor's 240. It might do it, but I'd rather just swap over. So, um, yeah. Um, not that one, that is the weight, let's drop that down. The stones... Whoa! What is that about? Surely that's not on that much of a slope. That tractor should be able to handle this. No trouble as well. 170 horsepower. Oh, if it is that slope, then we're going to have some fun harvesting that then, aren't we? <laughs> dear, oh dear. Should have just left it as grass. Never mind. We live and learn. I think it'll be alright. It'll be fine. We might just have to attack it at a different angle with the header. You never know these things until you try. And it wouldn't be a normal episode if there wasn't some sort of drama or fiasco going on, would it? There's always something happening, going wrong. the lights up I think That's annoying. We are full. So we'll grab the Landini. I'll just hook up to one of those trailers. Stones can go in there. I can sell them later off camera. Not going to get anything really worth worrying about off of those. Um, let's disconnect the back one and then we can then um, get cracking on with our seeding. Right, what do I do if I pull right up behind this guy? It was slipping and sliding out a bit up there, um, so I don't think it likes those slopes, but I don't think there's a lot of flexibility in these so we might be a little bit better ow oh. you know what's happened last time I was tipping that in but that is too big that trailer now isn't it Mmm, 
annoying <laughs> right I'll sort this out guys I'll bring you back in when we're ready to seed right let's go and grab this seeder which I've dumped over here now we do have a bit of fertilizer over there but because we've plowed that in that has got a stage already on there so I think we we'll, won't bother I think we'll wait for the first growth stage and then fertilize so we'll just grab some seed for now as long as we can it doesn't give us any dramas I'm not sure how much seed this thing holds is it going to allow us to do that um, open cover some cedars there we go that's probably only going to be part bags as well I don't care as long as it registers in there I think probably what we've got will be enough but we might as well fill it up because we can always unload it again and create more mess around the farm so there we go right let's change over to soybeans we'll cut through here oh, I can't wait to get the cows going though um, I can't remember which one I think it's that guy holds 300 and that one's 200 if I remember rightly I could be wrong but obviously we're not going to be able to afford to buy that many at this moment in time so let's get this unfolded um, <clears throat> probably should have done the liming after picking the stones up we should be good to go though should we <laughs> I made the same mistake again dust bunny's gonna tell me off uh, it's not too bad I can see as long as it doesn't get any darker there we go soybeans going in I don't know if you were expecting that to happen but it is happening now going back to the cows I need to work out if it's worth grabbing an animal transport trailer or just get them delivered so I uh, look at the costs of them, but I think we might go for it after this. Um, this field is going to need rolling, but I could possibly do that off of camera afterwards. But as long as we are, yes, getting soybeans in. A um, bit of light maybe help. Yeah, not too bad. But it all depends on how many we can afford. I don't want to leave us short with money. We do have crops in storage, but they are being stored for different reasons, really. I mean the wheat is supposed to be there for the pig food let's have a quick look at that um, oh here we go so we've got a bit left in there already so we do have quite a lot of wheat so if things do get tight we could probably sell that oh this month actually is best but we could risk it um, in January just to see what happens but then obviously we are losing our wheat for our pig food 
but like I said at the very start I want to get cows before we go down the pig route so if they have to go on hold for a little bit then they have to go on hold because I'm really hoping once we get the cows going and they're producing milk we get that bottled milk going the money is going to start flowing in pretty nicely that is the plan but we all know it doesn't always go to plan so we'll just have to play it by ear I think there we go that's some very good feedback from you guys though you, you, quite a few of you are pleased to see the new additions to the farm the productions the buildings a couple of comments about the bow trailer um, it's happened to one of you guys before already I think on Stone Valley so something's not quite right it's very odd though isn't it it was working and now it's not so i'm not too sure but anyway we have parted ways with that piece of equipment and we have something else in place it was kind of a little bit of a like for like swap I think we lost a little bit on there but not a lot the other trailer I showed you would have been a sort of cheaper option that would have definitely been more like for like if not maybe made a little bit of money on it but I kind of thought I'd rather go with that guy because I'm not a huge fan of the swivel axle trailers they're good for turning in sort of small areas absolutely fantastic for that but um reversing up oh are we gonna no yeah kind of yeah reversing up absolutely horrendous i am i've seen some guys do it on their videos and they're just like bam 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 in and i'm like what <laughs> what 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 just happened but um if you take it slowly and take your time you can do it but anyway we're almost there and we are getting very close very close to hearing the moo moos on our farm i think what we'll do is if we because i think we will just go down the milk milk route we won't buy any um beef cattle so one barn well obviously i'm talking long term future here one barn we can have the holsteins in and then the next one we can have the brown swiss isn't it i think so that would be pretty neat there won't be any difference obviously obviously depending on the ages did that go down i don't know if i made that or not there we go soybeans again Yeah, I think any darker I would have definitely struggled, but we can just about see where we've got to go. And we haven't really used a lot of seeds. I know that it was a bit overkill filling it right up, but I'd rather have enough in here and then I know it's only over there, keep driving backwards and forwards and you guys don't want to see that they'll have to put in loads of jump cuts <laughs> all right so just this bit a little bit up there and we are done and like i say i will roll this if i remember <laughs> to do that off camera
because I nearly forgot to roll the sorghum field over there. I literally loaded in after recording an episode. I saved it, quit out of it, and the tractor was over there where I left it, sort of half in the field, ready to go round on another lap. And I loaded back into the game. And luckily I went, opened the map up like this and sort of had a look and I spotted it. I thought, oh, oh yeah, got to do the rolling. And if I hadn't done that, then I think we would have been in trouble. Right, so that is that job done. Stones are in there. Again, I will sell them. I mean, I'm not even bothered about them. If, if we could have done that stone picking in one pass with the stone picker I would have just sent it back to the shop with the stones in I'm really not fussed about selling them you don't get anything for them really oh thanks thanks for that nice shed there and you've done that right let's get that back Okay, so that's all looking good to go. Um, it will need rolling, we know that. There we go, and it's all been ploughed and everything, so pretty good. Right. <laughs> we are here, guys. I'm so excited. Sad, I know, but I am. Right, let's just quickly check. I'm sure this top one is the bigger one. And there's the trigger so let's turn that off oh where is it there it is yeah 300 this one i'm pretty sure the other one's 200 right before we get carried away let's go into here anything else no nope. animal transport i think i've got some pretty good ones downloaded um that one we could tow that's not bad actually that will hold 12 cows I know it doesn't sound a lot but I don't think we're gonna afford a lot seven um, that one would need a dolly with that still only holds 12 so that's no better than what we've got eight that's pretty cheap I don't think we'll be able to pull that anyway that's supposed to go with that lorry and there's that one why does that other one over there hold 12 cows that would need a dolly um, only one of them holds cows six there okay right where's that first one how is this holding 12 cows what does that cost to lease? 3,101, okay. I mean, I, where is the animal dealer on here before we get carried away? Oh, it's only over there. Okay, um, that's not too bad. Right, let's just check then. Um, I think we'll go for some Holsteins first. And let's count up. Um, I'm going to look at the top figure first. Now, what could we push to? Could we push to 20? I know it does not sound a lot compared to 300 that we can hold, but I don't want to leave us too short, but I think we could probably stretch to 30 maybe. That would give us 50 grand. Or should we go 40? 62 i think we could stretch to 40 couldn't we four grand that's gonna cost extra so 40 cows 12 in there that would be a few trips backwards and forwards wouldn't it um oh, one of these guys 32 and there 36 that's almost a full load but that is 80 grand that's more than getting them delivered 
that's not as bad but when you think of it is it really worth it right let's try this guy and i i've not tried this at all um release that oh i mean is it worth it for 900 i don't think it is is it let's stop messing around because i am excited about getting cows right so that's going to cost us 66 grand so still going to leave us 30 thousand just over Bosh. Yes, we can hear you. Oh, not that one. I quite like the way that does that, though. Where are you? You're there. You're laying down already. Right, I've got some treats for you. You can't come out this way, can you? I think when we get up there though it opens out into where they are yeah look so it would have to be a little bit can we shut these oh look we can shut them mind you oh I can go straight out can I if I'm quick <laughs> so that door could stay open that's not fine uh, that's not fine that's not a problem that's fine there we go better English but obviously it is winter, so we will be nice to them. Right, let's grab a trailer. That one's in its small configuration, and it's also um, actually just out of interest. No, that doesn't hold more than our trailer here does it so we'll grab this guy i could probably turn my lights down a little bit otherwise the poor cows are going to be blinded and we'll head out let's go through here grab some tmr from our new little building which is an absolute beast Producing that, that would be from this pipe here. Yes. Oh man, I'm so excited. Please produce me lots of milk cows. That would be fantastic. <laughs> right, so we'll give them just all a required load I could back in there actually can I probably if my reversing skills are okay not too bad I think the trigger's going to come up there we go pretty quick I do like the way that you can drive in and tip out with the um oh the roof's massive in here actually isn't it yeah, with the feed mix, so I do like that, and just roll over. There they go, look, bit of slow motion running. Let's quickly check. That's not really touched the sides, but that probably will be a fair bit for 40 cows, but I will grab some more. I think we'll grab some more now, shall we? I should be able to cut down this way, shall I? There we go. Easier, isn't it? Oh, a little bump there. Then we need some straw valves. My telehandler's over there, should be able to grab a couple at a time. In fact, while that's loading up, let's get some out. I've no idea how much straw they're going to take or feed. So let's, I don't know, for now, let's grab four out. I should be able to, um, Pick two up at a time at oh I don't know actually because they're quite weighty aren't they they're 11,000 litres we'll give it a go anyway but let's let that one's running slow motion trying to get inside for a bit of feed I 
should be able to put straw bales out the front there where that icon is. They don't require water, which is good. So where does 60 get us? It's coming up. I mean, we have got quite a bit, so I will put as much as either what we've got or as much as the barn will hold itself. So let's strop, strop, stop that there. I'll grab this guy. I'm hiding it sort of almost in the bush so that the shop don't see it when they drive past. Otherwise we're in for it, aren't we? Right, how's this going to fare? I don't think it's going to handle two of these actually. It did two hay bales, but... Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, we've got a weight on the back, haven't we? I forgot about that. This should be able to sneak down that side. Handles it like a dream. So we have 22,000 litres of straw and obviously then we're going to get manure up here and over on that huge great pit there. Milk's going to be collected there depending on what barn we're in. Obviously we are in barn 2. Oh, I for a moment there thought that wasn't going to happen. But there we go. I think we will leave it there for this episode, guys, on a nice, happy, positive note that we have animals back on the farm. We got some cows. There's only 40, but any more is going to leave us a little bit short. Yes! You munch on that, you lovely little thing. And give me some milk out of there. Hurry up. Yeah, anyway, I have completely lost the plot. But we will leave it there, guys, for that episode. Look at them all feeding. They love it. Hope you have all enjoyed it, guys. If you have, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. That would be awesome. And don't forget to smash the bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.